Ah, good morning here in Chula Vista in your community. We're at the Starlight Center, part of the Arc of San Diego. Brandy and I are going to tell you about that. And also, we're going to say good morning to Brandy's mom. <laughs> She's still in town. More on Good Morning San Diego when we return. Stay with us. Brad Perry is in Chula Vista at the Starlight Center today. Yes, good morning to you, Brad. Having a good day in Chula Vista. <laughs> Yes, I am, but I want to make sure because me being the godfather of that baby oh, that yeah. she's eating healthy, mm -hmm. I left fruit on her desk and she's eating the can't. I'm a little talk with her when I get in there, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. So, well, we are in the community of Chula Vista and we are at a wonderful place. It's the Starlight Center and it's part of the Arc of San Diego. And Chris here, who is with the Chula Vista Charitable Foundation, is very happy because you guys have granted them before right. and this is such a wonderful place here. Yes, this is a, we're very proud of the grant that we made to the, the Arc Center, the Starlight Center here in Chula Vista. Um, what we are really about is uh, helping Chula Vista organizations help our own citizens and the impact that the grant that we made here is really uh, remarkable, and we're really proud of that. Yeah, and as we have Terry here with us, and of course, Terry Thorne, let us know about the Starlight Center, and, and it's a, such an important part of the Chula Vista community. Uh, yes, we're one of the day program and production center sites for the Arc of San Diego. Uh, we have about 250 individuals who come here every day who uh, work on gaining skills and work for paid, uh, work on paid jobs. Yeah, and so this grant is very important to you, and of course what the community does to, ex to brace you and bring you into having them out there in the community. Yes, uh, without the grant, there's so much we would not have been able to do. Uh, our funding is limited, and for us to expand programs, to enrich programs, uh, support from the community is just absolutely necessary. Yeah, it's very important. And Chris, I want to ask you, uh, with these grants, people are probably wondering how they can get involved, how they can get grants. What do they do? Well, we have an annual grant process, and if they're interested in either becoming members or applying for a grant, go to the San Diego uh, Foundation website. They can click on the link for community affiliates. We're an affiliate of the San Diego Foundation, and all the information about how to join or how to get into the grant cycle is there. Yeah, and this is a very important thing uh, to have these grants because we do see budget cuts, and of course, with the election being over, we do see that there hopefully will be money back in the community, but of course, businesses being a part of this grant gets the money in here quicker. That's right. You know, it, as government support for programs like this have has shrunk, it really is incumbent upon the community members, the citizens of the community to reach out and help each other, to offer a hand up, and that's what the Charitable Foundation is all about. I like that. And of course, Starlight uh, Center is definitely uh, proud to have that grant. Thank, of course, to them and the Arc of San Diego. We come back, Terry. We're going to send Brandy into one of the uh, classrooms to meet some of the clients, have some fun stuff, and let you learn a little bit more about the Starlight Center. So we come back, we'll have more of Good Morning San Diego right after this. Cruz leaving.